Hi everyone, welcome to Cayenne Knits. My name is Cayenne, but better known as Julie, and this is a video tutorial on how to work German short row heel. I will be using my original pattern, the Peyton socks, to make the demonstration in this video. German short row heel is pretty standard across the board, regardless of what sock pattern you're using, with the major exception of the stitch count. For example, for the Peyton socks, there are a total of 60 stitches, uh, but other sock pattern may have 58, 64, 72, depending on the size of the socks that you're knitting, as well as the pattern that's involved uh, for that pattern. So of course, uh, refer to the pattern that you're working with for the actual stitch count, but at least uh, the basic construction of the German short row heel is pretty standard um, across the board. The Peyton sock, which is my uh, original design, is a toe up sock uh, with lace uh, up the instep and with a uh, short row heel, like I was saying, it's a shorty sock. Um, if you would like to knit your pair of the Peyton socks, I have provided a link in the description below where you can download your copy from my Rafflery shop. Before we get down to business, please take a quick second to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I have videos uploaded. And since I'm relatively new to YouTube, help a girl out, share my video with your friends uh, and with your knitting community uh, to get my channel out to others. Uh, hopefully they will also find my content helpful. Um, and also don't forget to like the video. Thank you so much. I have gotten to the part where I need to work on the heel. So a really quick overview on how this works, no matter what uh, pattern you're working on. Um, first, you need to divide your total stitches in half. So in my case, there are 60 stitches in all. So I have 30 stitches on each needle. Now looking at just the back one, uh, the sole stitches, the front side is called the top side of your foot, it's called the instep, and then the bottom is the sole, S-O-L-E. Um, so with the stitches there, there are 30, and then we further divide that up into thirds. So in my case, it's very easy. It's just 10, 10, and 10. And I have two markers to separate those thirds. Um, if you are following the Peyton Socks pattern, uh, you would notice that there are instructions to place three markers. And that's because it's assuming you're working in the round um, with nine inch circulars. So you would have had your first marker here to differentiate between the instep and the sole. But if you're working with flexi flips like I am, or with two circulars or magic loop, then you can just skip the first marker because it would be like at the end here or the beginning of this needle. All right, so now we're actually going to uh, start. Um, I have already knitted to the end of this needle here. So the working yarn is here. Uh, we are now, instead of working in the round like we had been, we're now gonna work flat with the wrong side facing. I know it looks like the right side is facing, but keep in mind, we're only working on the back needle, not the one here holding the instep stitches. So um, row one, wrong side, WS, make uh, your first double stitch and that's MD as an abbreviation. To do so, you insert your right needle into the first stitch on your left needle purlwise with a yarn in front. So this is what it looks like. I'm inserting as if to purl uh, with the yarn in the front of the work and then I'm going to slip it off. So now that stitch is on my right needle. So you can see it's just one stitch. Well, what does it mean by make double stitch? It's not an increase. It's you're going to pull on to your working yarn. So it looks like there are two stitches, but there's really only one, you see. So you're just pulling it up until you see two strands here. And then you are going to purl across. And whenever you come to the markers, you're just going to slip them until in my case, you get to the end of this needle. 
In other words, you're going to uh, purl, excuse me, um, <laughs> uh, all the back stitches, all the sole stitches. Okay, so we're towards the end of row one of this business. And then, of course, we're going to turn our work so we can knit back again because we are working flat at the moment. So now we're on to row two. Make double stitch. Now it's more or less the same. Uh, right needle inserted into the first stitch purlwise with the working yarn in the front. And then same thing, you yank it up. It's a little bit more tricky to see those uh, two strands when you're on the knit side, but you do the same thing as you just did in the previous row. And then this time we're going to knit across um, until you get to the double stitch that we made from the previous row. All right, we're closing in, so. It says to knit to the double stitch. Let's slow down and look at the stitches here. Now, there's one more before this double stitch. There are no two stitches here. It just looks like there are two stitches, but it's really just one stitch. So now I'm going to stop and turn my work around and purl back. Uh, if you're following my pattern, it's now row three. It says make double stitch. So same deal, slip and yank it up. So you see two strands here and then you purl back. Okay, just a few more stitches here. And we're going to look for that double stitch. And that's our turnaround point. So let's take a look. Here it is. It's not two stitches. It's really one with two strands on the needle. So now we turn and then you basically just keep repeating that um, until you reach the middle two markers. Let's do uh, one more pass together. So if you're following the Peyton pattern, uh, we're back to row two. It says repeat rows two and three eight times. So first is double stitch. And then you just continue knitting. Just continue on until you have uh, done all the double stitches and then we'll meet back here again for the next part. I have just finished uh, repeating rows two and three eight times. So as a result, I have double stitches, um, all 10 double stitches to the left side of the needle and only nine on the right. And this is the time where I make the last double stitch on the right side. And if you are following the Peyton Socks pattern, it is next row RS make double stitch. So we'll do that and then slip the marker and then knit 10, which is basically the middle stitches that we haven't touched. Actually, that's not true. We have touched, we just haven't um, done any double stitches with it. We're gonna knit and then we are going to slip this marker and then we are going to knit all the double stitches to the end of the round. The end of this needle is the end of the round for me. <clears throat> so how do we knit the double stitch? Uh, don't go at it like this. Don't pick these one by one. You want to knit the double stitches uh, together. It's kind of like doing a knit two together the concept of it, it, it is anyway. But again, 
uh, you only have one stitch. It's just that you yanked it up so it looks like there are two stitches. All right, so that's how it's looking. Um, I'll do it more slowly. So I insert the needle, like here are the two strands, and I wanna make sure that the needle goes through both. And then wrap it around and pull through, just like regular knitting, just catching both strands. And then we get to the end of this round or this row. And here is the last one. All right. So at the end here, uh, we're going to go back to working the sock in the round. Actually, let's take a look at this first. So this is kind of like the base of the heel. All right. I, I don't know if I can show it to you more clearly, but here you can already see like the little curved part to fit your heel in here. So you're going to knit one complete round. And as you get to the beginning of the back needle, you're going to resolve those double stitches like what we just did and knit all the way through to the end of the round. Okay, so I have knitted one complete round and dissolved, not dissolve, resolve all the double stitches uh, that were on this part of the needle. So um, all the stitches now are singles. But now it's time to make double stitches again. Um, I actually went ahead and did a little bit more. So the next part of the instruction is to knit the instep until you reach this marker in the middle. If you're following my pattern, it would say to knit to SRM2. So that would be this guy here. Remember, we didn't have a one here, the marker number one, because we don't need it. So knit to this marker here in the middle. And we're going to uh, go back to knitting in, uh, not in the round, but flat. We're going to knit flat. Uh, row one. We are going to knit to the next marker. So I got to this marker and then I'm going to remove it. And then it says to knit one stitch. Don't knit all the way through. So I've made that one extra stitch. Uh, or knitted that one extra stitch and then now it's time to turn the work and do row two which is the wrong side we're going to make a double stitch and then we're going to purl to the next marker And then we're going to remove this marker. So now there are no more markers on here. We're going to purl one extra stitch and then we're going to turn the work to have the right side facing onto row three. Make double stitch first and then knit to the double stitch, the first one that we made at this section. And here it is, the double stitch. We are going to knit that double stitch or resolving it. Okay. And then we're going to knit one more. And then we're going to turn the work. So that's basically going to be um, the sequence. Uh, row four, make double stitch get up and then we're going to purl to the double stitch on the other end and 
Here we are. Purl that double stitch and then purl one more. And then we turn, have the right side facing. And at this point, you just repeat the last two rows that we did eight more times. So let's do one repetition together. Make the double stitch. Knit to the next double stitch. And then we're going to knit that double stitch and then knit one more before we turn and basically do the same thing. So let's do that. I'm going to make a double stitch on the purl side and then purl all the way to where that double stitch is waiting. Here it is. And then I'm going to purl one more. You will repeat that. Again, please refer to your pattern for the specific of what you're working on. Um, but, you know, for my pattern, you do that eight more times or seven more times at this point. And then we have one more uh, right side row to knit. Uh, and then uh, it will be the heel will then be complete. We are almost there. So I have just completed the uh, the last section, the previous section, and uh, we build the stitches back out like that to increase the width here. If even if you're not working on the patent socks, the construction of the German short row heel is it is the same idea. So again. To recap, you divide it into thirds, you leave the middle third alone, and then you uh, start decreasing the number of stitches that you do, and then you resolve all those stitches, knit it in the round, and then you start increasing it back out with your double stitches, increasing the fabric here. You see how like this is more narrow and then it kind of fans out. So the, the idea is all the same. Okay, so back to the patent. Next row, right side, make double stitch, which is this guy here. We're going to knit to the next double stitch. In this case, it's going to be all the way at the end of the needle. Um, and then when I get to it, just resolve that. So knit that double stitch, and then we're basically done with the heel. Now, the next part, if you are knitting a crew sock or something with a leg part then you will move on to the leg part of your sock um, but for the patent socks it is a shorty version so um, immediately after the heel which is here you will start working on the cuff there is no need to go back to uh, the lace part of course, you could extend it. I was actually thinking about um, modifying or adding on to the pattern and make a crew sock version of this sock. Um, but we'll see. Uh, here's the end of the needle where that last double stitch is. Here we go. Okay, so see, you got to be careful. Uh, make sure that you're inserting it through both strands of the double stitch. And then pop that through. I still don't like that. I don't think I'm catching it correctly. Here we go. It's kind of hard to see. I'm like, do I look at my actual work or do I look through the screen when I'm recording? <laughs> um, okay, so that's the end of that. And then uh, if you're knitting the paten, uh, the next part is the cuff. Uh, and we're now going to resume knitting in the round. And even if you're not working on a patent, most likely you're going to be knitting in the round again. So um, do that. But I just want to point out, remember that double stitch we just did here? It still needs to be resolved. So it's really simple. When you get to that, you just knit 
um, you just resolve that double stitch and then continue on uh, with your business as usual. Um, and that's all that there is to it. That's all that there is to it, to German short row heels. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for future video uploads. And also don't forget about downloading a copy of your patent socks from my Rafflery shop. There is a link in the description. Until next time, happy knitting.